When you flip on the lights, you ever think about how it all works? It goes through the wires or something? I don't know. I have a, at least a reasonable idea about that. There's a lot to it, and this 184-ton device plays a critical role. How and much does it cost? Who's paying for it? And what does it do? <laughs> Duke Energy ordered three massive turbines from GE in New York. The total price tag was north of $205 million. The three low-pressure turbines traveled on a rail to Albany, then on a barge to Charleston and a train to Rock Hill before a road trip to the Catawba Nuclear Station. The turbines are what spins the generator, which is what produces the electricity. That includes 1.4 million of you in North and South Carolina. In this station's 35-year history, the turbines have never been replaced, but much like a car, parts go through wear and tear. Our mission is to generate carbon-free, reliable, safe electricity for our customers. When these turbines are replaced, that will allow us to continue to do that into the mid-century. And don't let the plume of smoke fool you. It's actually steam. Nuclear power plants don't produce greenhouse gases. I think the more they can do to get get away from carbon emissions in general, not just from the generation of electricity, cars, etc., it's all good over time. Duke Energy will officially install the three turbines during its planned refueling outage, which is kind of like an oil change, but on a much larger scale. Morgan Francis, Fox 46.